oil with fennel and peppermint and that sort of thing. Even a bit of cardamom. And uh, one thing that we're really paying attention to is the direction that the large intestine works. So the large intestine joins with the small intestine about here. So somewhere between the belly button and the top of that pelvic bone, there's the ileocecal valve. So we always want to work up, across, and down. So a lot of people can get trapped fecal matter in their large intestine, which obviously leads to things like uh, constipation and bowel cancer, diverticulitis. So we're working up that large intestine in a circular mo motion. So it's clockwise. Yeah. So always from the right side here, mm -hmm. up. So up the ascending colon, across the transverse colon, and into the de descending colon. We can also do a sort of general kneading of the belly with oil, which is more into the small intestine. And again, just getting any of the chronic residual tension that people hold in their intestines a bit looser. And again, getting those oils in there. So as I say, with some flatulence, different things, we could be using some uh, fennel oil, that sort of stuff. Coming right up here as well, I can feel just under the rib cage near where her liver is, a bit of tension there. So I can just kind of work that through. As I say, this will be a great, um, a great treatment for people with constipation. Just up that ascending colon. So something's jammed in there. Feels good though. Yeah, yeah good, good. So just working through there and move it along. And then, like I say, some kneading through the small intestine is very nice. You can't even do a sort of sweeping motion with your thumb, again, in a clockwise direction. You can do some more of this, which we were doing without oil, of holding those deeper bands and moving them side to side. can even work up the bands with oil, like this. And even using circular movements as you come up them. Fart, we can always no, you know, edit it out. <laughs> when you when you press here, yeah. it's like I just want to pee. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's on the bladder there. So that's pretty much what we're what we do with oil on the belly. As I say, even with um with babies, you know, you can use you can do abdominal massage for reflux. Again, you could use some more gentle oils, even some chamomile, maybe for a baby. For toddlers, you could use the fennel and things like that as well, cardamom. Um, but it will, like I say, if there's air trapped in the bowel, then it will make people burp or fart. And, and that'll be really good for a baby if they've got wind in their belly that's making them cry. Across the top of the chest, I usually just work up into here a little bit on a woman. On a man, I would, I would use oil all through the chest, okay? But here we're just coming in across this area here where they, and she's very tight in there. And again, you can see how tight she is here, but I don't really want to overwork that area because it's coming from the inner wrist band here. Inner thumb band is here, which is also tight, and the inner wrist band, which means that those fingers are joint, or that the middle fingers are contributing to this. So I'll just sort of move it around a little bit, but not get too kind of carried away. Right. And, uh, you know, we could do the same on that other side. Let's put that wrist in. Yeah. 
easier with the arm up like this. Again, if it's too much, just use that little finger. For me, my little finger is more precise, obviously, being about half the diameter as my thumb. All right. Now we're going to get her to roll over. So in terms of the draping, we can just ask her to roll, say, that way, and then we can move these towels. Um, onto my belly? Yeah, rolling onto your belly, please. Okay. 